Your boy is lazy tonight. He's lazy. He's definitely lazy tonight. Ooh, lazy. However, I'm doing this from the bed. This is the Growing Up Hip Hop Review. Let's get into it, y'all. What's going on, you guys? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we are here for a brand new review of Growing Up Hip Hop, okay? Season 7, Episode 4. I did not review Episode 3 last week because, A, I was grieving, still grieving, but I'm in a better place. And number two, because of the simple fact that it was boring, so I did not want to talk about it at all because it just wasn't given. And this episode really wasn't given that much either, but it gave me more than what last week's episode did. I can tell you that much, okay? Now, before we get into what we got going on tonight, let's talk about what we got coming up. The Whether You Like It or Not panel will be airing two nights in a row. Monday night, it will be on Giving You The Real Tease platform, okay? It is his turn to um, host the panel. But on Tuesday night, we'll be doing a special episode talking about the fashions of the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion. It'll be right here on my platform on Tuesday night. So make sure you guys are prepared and ready because we got us a good show ahead of us. So make sure you guys tune in for that. Um, also, on February the 1st, it will be the day where we start voting for the Boss Babe Award. I'm nominated for Boss Babe YouTuber of the Year, as well as Boss Babe Podcast of the Year with Jamar for the prelude, okay? So make sure you guys get ready because the link will be available on February the 1st. I'm going to make sure my mods and stuff get it together and all of that good stuff. So make sure you guys are ready for the Boss Babe Awards because I'm definitely ready. I really feel good about these nominations and I feel like I have a really good chance of winning. As long as my Scotty gang is behind me, I don't have no problems. So with that being said, you guys, that's pretty much all with the church announcements. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to do a 40K live because, you know, normally when I hit a milestone, I always do a live. So I just might do one. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to do it tomorrow night or if I'm going to do it on Saturday. But we're going to figure it out. We're definitely going to figure it all out, right? Right, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the gist of everything, okay? So we're going to start this thing off. Let me pull my phone out for my notes. Start this thing off with Twist and Sean, okay? First of all, I love me some little Twist, and I love me some Sean. Like I said, Sean is one of the finest white dudes I have ever seen in my entire life, okay? One of the finest white dudes I've ever seen in my life. Um, But apparently, um, Twist is going to get his hairline done. Twist is going to get his hairline done. He don't like his hairline. He wants to get it done. You know, he's telling Twist about it. You know, um, then he started talking about Jamaica. You know, he's been working in Jamaica. You know, TT uh, T. been going back and forth from Jamaica, from L.A. And now, you know, she wants to be in L.A. full time. But, you know, Sean really ain't feeling the whole idea of being in L.A. full time. You know, it just ain't his thing. But, however, that's what T.T. wanted. You know, happy wife, happy life, whatever. Then they started talking about Twist and his teeth. And, you know, Twist said that he went to Columbia and went and got his teeth done. And it'd be so funny when I'd be seeing people going to get their teeth done and they have to go all out the country to get them done. Because I'd be like, I got my teeth done and I went straight to the dentist. As you can see, they're done. I went to my dentist and got them done. And, you know, like I said, a lot of people always be, you know, trying to talk about folks like me with a nine to five. But, baby. Okay, baby. Yes, I do YouTube part time and I make a, you know, make some good money off of YouTube. But baby, if it wasn't for that other job, baby, I would not have no insurance for these teeth. Okay. Teeth that I've been crying about for many, many years. I'm so glad that I got them fixed. Y'all cannot tell me nothing. I'd be so happy and proud to get in front of the camera now that my teeth is the way that I need them to be. Okay. And we still not done. They just um fixed this side yesterday. Like the now that side is done, but I don't know what else they said. They got more to do, but I really don't know why we got more to do. But I feel like my smile is perfect now, don't you think? I think it's I think it's really good now. However, yeah, that's the just the that that's just the gist of that. Um, so yeah, they are you know they went to the dude and the surgery going to be like $20,000 for him to get his hairline fixed up and stuff like that. And you know, it's crazy, but, um, I feel like, you know, at the end of it all, there's really nothing wrong with getting cosmetic surgery. Um, 
if it makes you feel good, it makes you feel better. I mean, listen, I got my teeth done because it was something that I wanted to make myself happy. You know, I didn't like my teeth. My teeth were horrible. If you go back and look at my old videos, like not really old, old, but maybe around like 2016 and 17, they were terrible. And it got so hard, like around 2020 to even look at my videos because like they were awful. So I said, no, I got to get them done. And that's exactly what I did. And now I feel bit like great. Like I started off the decade of 2020 with great teeth. I can't stop showing them. Oh, I so, I'm so proud of my teeth. Oh my God. Anyway, but he got to spend $20,000 on them teeth, honey. So that's just what that is. Um, let's see. We're going to get into Vanessa and Tanise. Um, they, they're sitting by the pool. You know, Tanise said that she actually asked Cree to come and, you know, chill out with them, but she's not coming. But however, you know, Tanise asked um, Vanessa, was she having another baby? And, you know, Vanessa was like, why do y'all keep trying me with this baby stuff? Why do y'all keep trying me with this baby stuff? No, I am not about to have no baby. Like, why do y'all think this shit? Like, why do y'all really believe that I'm going to have a baby? Like, no, 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 no. I'm focused on getting his stomach flat before I have me a baby. Okay. That's what I'm focused on. Okay. So then um, she basically said that she was having an, um, a surgery. You know, she's not really happy with her, with her weight. And, you know, I'm looking at Vanessa and I'm looking at her and I'm like, I think that you are your own worst critic because I see absolutely nothing wrong with the way you look at all. Like, I see nothing wrong with the way Vanessa looks. Vanessa is is a beautiful girl. That's that's first thing. And the second thing is there's nothing wrong with her. Like she's beautiful and um, she's not even fat. She's not fat at all. I don't I don't see what she needs surgery. But like I keep saying, I, I just literally just said that there's nothing wrong with getting cosmetic surgery. You feel me? But I feel like, you know, long as it's something for you to make you happy and that's it, that's all that matters. But, you know, we don't want it to be a situation where we're doing it to make other people happy because that's where it fucks up. At. We don't ever want that, you know, but um, there's nothing wrong with Vanessa. I, I just think that she's really nitpicking right now, but you know, I can't tell her what she looks at in the mirror. All I know is that when I see her, I see a beautiful girl with a nice body. There's nothing wrong with Vanessa, in my opinion. She don't need surgery. Um, we get into Sequoia and Brianna. Okay. Um, Brianna is performing. Brianna really doesn't have a bad voice. She doesn't have a bad voice at all. Like, I don't see nothing wrong with her voice, period. Like, she doesn't have a bad voice. She gives me, like, an Erica Badu type of feel. That's the type of, you know, chill vibe that she's on. Um, I like Bree's relationship with Sequoia. It's actually pretty refreshing because, you know, from the things that I've seen with this show in the past, you know, Brianna has had many issues with a lot of the girls on the show. But I like this whole thing with her and Sequoia. I like it. It's, it's pretty decent. I like their relationship. Um, they discuss Tiny. Um, you know, Sequoia basically tells Bree that she really ain't still ain't really been talking to her mama. She told her how the situation with her mama went. But Bree gave, you know, Sequoia some real talk. And she just said, you just got to let that go. That's your mama. She needs to be happy. And then, you know, that's just that. Like, she a grown woman. She just want to be happy. And that's just what it is. And um, Sequoia said, like, I hear you, but I don't want to hear you. And I understand that. She's stubborn. She don't want to hear it. But the truth is the truth. And I think that, you know, Brianna gave you the, the real tea. Like, she gave you the truth. And I feel like that's just something that you needed to hear. Like, I understand why you feel away because lazy is your mentor. Your mom and dad ain't legally divorced yet. She didn't tell you about lazy. So I understand it. And I started this season off really being on your side. But watching this particular episode, I do feel like you was doing way too much. And I don't think that it's really your place to really tell your mama who the hell she can and can't date. I really don't think that's your place nor your spot to do. So now nah, I don't think that's your place. But girl, nah. I think you should. I think you could just let it go. It really ain't this serious. I, I agree with what um, Brianna said. Um, they discussed Sequoia's party. She's having like a skating rink party. And, you know, um, Brianna asked who's all going to be there. And then, you know, she said, I'm pretty much everybody, you know, I don't know how you feel about Cree, you know what I mean? But, you know, I'm inviting her to the party or whatever. And, you know, Brie don't give a fuck about Cree. And that's just what it is. And I don't really think that Cree really gives a damn about Brianna. I just think that this is our storyline um, on Cree's behalf. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, as the season continues to go on, I'm looking to interview Cree. I know she watched my shit and I know you see me. 
So I'll be looking at your ass for an interview because we got to talk about some things, okay? We do. But um, this Korean Brianna shit look like it's going to go on the whole season. That's the thing that's crazy about it. Uh, so we get into Cree, Vanessa, Tanisa, and JoJo. Um, you know, they come over, I think, to Tanisa and JoJo's house. And then, you know, Cree shows them the live that Brianna did, basically questioning whether or not she hang out with the Simmons or not. So they feel JoJo in on the drama. And of course, JoJo said, this ain't nothing new. This is just the stuff that Brianna does. And I don't like the way that they sit up and they really just try to dog this girl out and make it seem like she's full of drama. But I don't, but I just don't see why Tanise and Vanessa even feel any way about the lie because she really didn't say nothing negative about them. She didn't lump them all up. All she did was ask, did Cree really hang out with Vanessa and Angela? Sometimes it's a t TV thing. And that's just the truth. Um, but you know. Um, Jojo said, "That's this is not the smoke that you want. This is the shit that Brianna does. She plays that game. You don't want it with Brianna. And I, that's all I'm going to say. And I'm looking at Jojo like, you better give her the real because I don't really think that she wanted with no damn Brianna. No, no, no. I don't think she do. Okay, so we get into Tiny and Lazy. You know, they discuss, you know, Sequoia's feelings about the relationship. You know, Tiny still feels some type of way about the argument that they had. And, you know, Lazy was basically saying that he's going to talk to Sequoia about the situation because I feel like that's something that needs to happen. You know, I do think that they need to talk about it, you know, because, but I do think that even and because I didn't review the episode last week, I do think that Sequoia was a bit disrespectful to her mama. It's a way for you to air out your grievances with your mom and tell your mother that you disagree agree with her choices um it's a way to do it besides sitting up here you know doing all the bullshit that you were doing you feel what i'm saying so i just feel as though she did a little bit too much in this situation that's just how i feel about it and i just think that no it is what it is like no you're doing too much um so Sean and TT, they go looking for a house, you know, they, and, 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 you know, this is TT's thing. TT wants to live in Los Angeles. Sean really don't want to, but he's only doing it because TT, that's what TT wants him to do. But at the same time, she can't even make a decision on what type of house she wants. So this scene really didn't matter. Um, then there's a skating party. And, um, you know, Sequoia and Twist flirt, which I feel like is hypocritical. You don't want your mama with a rapper, but you want to give your goods to a rapper. Okay. Um, Sequoia thanks everyone for coming, even though they all have had issues with one another. Sequoia starts um, discussing her issues with her mom to the, to, the, to the people, and then Cree starts giving her advice. But it's like Cree was, you know, comparing her own parents to, to Sequoia's parents. And I don't think that that was like the best scenario. But I see you was trying to help Cree, so I, I guess. Um, Twist wants Cree and Brianna to talk. Cree and Brianna start talking. Brianna said, I'm going to talk shit regardless. Even Jesus and his dusty sandals can get it. And I'm like, well, at least you told it to your face. And this whole beef really ain't no beef. I just feel like it's something that Cree trying to put together for a storyline, honestly. And y'all, like I said, you know I like Cree. But I really believe that that's what she's doing because it really ain't that serious. Like, why are we still talking about a live that she really didn't drag you on? Like, we've seen Brianna drag people. Like, she really could have went in on your ass, but she didn't. Um, so then Sequoia... And Twist talk about Lazy, you know what I mean? And, you know, Twist was saying that he wants Sequoia, but it's only for the weekend, like SZA. Okay. Um, then Lazy um, arrives, which I feel like Eric messy ass was the reason why he was there. Uh, and they discussed the issues. And I believe that when she talked to Lazy about it, I think she felt a little bit better. But being that she had a calm conversation with Lazy, What's going to happen with her and her mama? Because she was a bit disrespectful to her mama. I ain't going to sit up here and hold you. She kind of was, but it is what it is. But that was pretty much suggested this episode. Like I said, this episode really wasn't all that. It was better than last week's episode. But growing up hip-hop, y'all need to get it together. Y'all are always so hit and miss. Like, I start out being so excited about the show. Then when the show comes on, I'm not excited no more. Like, girl, what's going on? I'm, I'm just saying, what's going on? Like, I'm not I'm not with it. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. Y'all need to do something about that. But anyway, with that being said, y'all, this be your boy, Scott, about Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And also, make sure you guys click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys, out of here until my next video. I will holler at you guys a little bit later. Bye.
What's up guys, it's your boy Tremel. I just wanted to say that I have a new project that's out. It's called Mixed Feelings. It's on all streaming platforms. I would hope that you would go and check it out. It's a really good feel of an album. It's got everything you need and more. It's got R&B, it's got a little bit of pop. It's got a little bit of hip hop. It's everything that you need and more. It's out all streaming platforms, like I said. Please check me out and you can also follow me at I am underscore Tramel. That's I am underscore T-R-A-M-E-L. Check me out. I hope to hear from you.